Hello, comrades, and welcome back to the beautiful, scenic, and, according to Steam, thriving city of Bob's Ledge. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is a thing that I've been promising for probably the last five videos that I've made, and that is we are finally going to be building something on this island, and I can also reveal that it is going to be a monastery. Uh, so, yeah, but before we do that, I did want to address two big elephants in the room. There's two entire elephants. One is, this is not the winter update. The winter update is already out. This current game that we're looking at is the winter update preview build, and that's because preview games can't be loaded in normal builds, and since Bob's Ledge was built in preview games, it's just perpetually stuck in preview builds, so it can't run it in the actual winter update build. Uh, that is a, the risk that we took, and it, it, was a, it was a calculated risk, and I'm happy with it. We'll just start a new town that isn't a preview build, and we'll keep Bob's Ledge as the preview town, especially now that we've already done so much. And speaking of doing so much, the other big elephant in the room is that there is like a hundred more people living in the city than last time we recorded. And that's because I added this entire expansion to the... I guess east um, and over here as well it just wasn't very interesting I was recording it and I just didn't have anything interesting or funny to say so I just was like okay it's literally stuff that we've seen before um, so I just thought I would skip over that and actually get to the interesting part which is this island um, so the thing that I wanted to build is something that's inspired by a real life thing and that is something that I saw in Venice, which is called San Lazzaro dei Armeni. And it is this monastery that is an island. Just the entire island is a monastery. So I just figured, hey, let's do that. And that's that's what's on the menu for today. Um, so yeah, what we're going to be doing first, we're going to be doing it in three steps. And step one is to make sure that uh, we clear it, that we don't have any trees on it so that we can plan our construction uh, safely. If we want to re reseed the forests later, then we can do that. So first I'm going to get rid of all the hunter's huts and um, then we're going to move on from there. I've already put hunters elsewhere to kind of um, replace the hunter stocks. But yeah, so we're going to be putting down a warehouse and if I do a speed up I've already placed down a warehouse in the video that you're watching but just know I've just placed that warehouse that's probably already built in the speed up um, so yeah we're gonna put down that and some lumber camps and then we're gonna move from there So with the knowledge that Bob's Ledge is perpetually stuck in preview builds, I've decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two games. So we're going to have one game that is happening in preview builds, and that's Bob's Ledge, where we can try out all the new stuff whenever preview builds are updated, and it's all buggy and wonky and crazy. And then we're going to have another game, which is the normal build game, so whatever's out at that given moment and in that game we can just have the the regular stuff and I think that's gonna be really cool and it's gonna be cool to have two towns so we're not always just looking at the same town plus now that the winter updates hit I do want to actually play the stable version a bit because the, the the preview version has a lot of bugs has a lot of things like soldiers not returning from war and stuff so it's gonna be nice to have a stable build as well to play Hey guys! So while I was recording this forest clearing segment, I came down with a massive fever, so I decided to go to bed and record the rest the next day. Unfortunately, by the next day the build preview mode had already been disabled, which means that that save and all of my progress on Bob's Ledge is now inaccessible. I knew this was a risk I was taking, preview saves can't be loaded in normal builds, and as the winter update hit, I imagined the preview build would be disabled soon enough. And it was! That's why this video was actually going to be my last one in Bob's Ledge for a while, and I was going to start a new town in the winter update. But not being able to finish this project, or do a proper send-off to my first big town, I was pretty devastated. But after a couple days of mulling it over, I decided I still wanted to finish this monastery, so I loaded the last save I had before I opted into the preview, built the town up a little bit so that I had an economy which could support the building of such a massive monument, cleared the island, and here we are. 
It's not exactly the same, but it'll do for the purposes of building the monastery. By the way, while I was expanding the town, I had this really cool architecture planning idea that I definitely want to explore more in the next town. It ended up looking pretty cool. I'm looking forward to our next town looking a lot nicer. Also, for those curious, in this catch-up playthrough, I did unlock all the new blueprints that are available in the winter update. Right now, there only seem to be the two blueprints available, the Roman Church and the Legacy Church. Alright, back to our construction. Let's move on to phase two, the planning. So at this point, you might not be surprised, but I also ran into a problem at this stage of the building process. Turns out that the little grey building parts that you see when planning a monument have a super negative effect on game performance. At first I thought I could just ignore it, since I was going to speed it up anyway so it wouldn't be noticeable, and I was powering through the low FPS until my game grinded to a pretty screeching halt. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to plan it in parts. I'm going to keep the game paused while we do that so that they don't start building the previous section when we hit confirm, and we can watch them all be built in one go. So I decided to build the actual center building with the abbey and the cloister first, and then follow it up with the island wall afterwards. The idea is that the entire island belongs to the monastery, and they're kind of almost like a separate entity from the town. This isn't such a far cry from how it actually worked in history as well, even with regular monasteries that weren't on islands. Monastery land would generally be considered separate from the domain on which it was located, and the monks would then make wine, beer, and other artisan foods, and trade them with the town in return for goods which they didn't make themselves. Which is kind of how they work in Foundation as well. So I really like this idea that the town would just like gift these monks an entire island inside of the town's borders, as was kind of the case with San Lazaro. According to Wikipedia, the island was ceded to a group of Armenian Catholic monks who fled persecution after the Ottomans invaded the Peloponnese in 1717. Later, when Napoleon conquered Venice 80 years after that, he abolished all of the monastic orders of Venice and Italy except of the Mechitarist in San Lazaro. According to some sources, this was thanks to his bodyguard Rustam Raza who happened to be of Armenian origin. As a result, Napoleon signed a decree that allowed the order to continue as an academy, and apparently it's still sometimes referred to in Latin as Academia Armena Sancti Lazari, even today. So obviously my island monastery won't look anything like San Lazaro actually looks like, but I think it'll still look pretty cool. I just really like this idea of having a monastery that's just an entire island. Alright, so, the foundations are laid, and without any further ado, let's move on to Phase 3, the construction. So this was by far the longest and most excruciating part of the whole process. It took 24 in-game hours to build, but even though this time I remembered to disable my Great Hall so I wouldn't get the promotion pop-ups, I still couldn't just let it run because the bad weather notification also pauses the game, so I had to constantly check it to make sure that it's not paused. And sometimes I'd only realize it was paused after like an entire half hour, which also resulted in an unnecessarily massive video file in the end. Altogether, according to my save timestamps, the whole thing took over 14 hours, but you can see it happen in less than 3 minutes.
Does anyone else really like time lapses? I just... I love a good time lapse, I can't help it. Any game can be improved 200% if they just have some kind of automatic time lapse built in. Whether it's a mini map of a town, territorial expansion, or just straight up massive screenshots of your progress. I love it. I'm always here for it. I've actually been thinking of just putting up some construction time lapses from various games, which is some like relaxing music and no commentary. Does that even qualify as content? Alright, so the main structure is finished, and now we're gonna move on to bonus phase four. Final touches. Decoration, finishing touches. One of those, one of those will do. Decorating with hedges and walls is I think one of those things that's really easy to overlook when you're first starting out. For my first like 10 videos, I wasn't even touching them, but it's something that can really make your decorations pop, and due to how freely you can shape them, there's a lot of great finishing touches you can do to practically any building. Some people make some really crazy and awesome looking stuff in foundation, and I'm really looking forward to trying my hand at some more advanced decorating and planning in the new town as well. Alright, so here we are. This is the finished monastery. It's got all the monastery stuff. If this was the actual Bob's Ledge save, I would have made the vineyards all around and uh, I would have probably made an extra garden, but this is, I think, really good. I think it looks really nice and I'm really happy with it. Uh, obviously, the rest of the town is not the town that it should be uh, because of the thing I mentioned earlier, but it's. I, th I think it looks really good and I'm really pleased with it. Uh, also, the maintenance of the monastery is through the roof. It's like 7,000 and it's actually doubled the maintenance of this entire town. But these parts lie to you. Like They say that like if, if we look at it here, it's like two gold maintenance cost, five gold maintenance cost. But if you look at them here, these extensions actually have a 95 maintenance cost. So the, the cloister centers do actually have two gold. But the ones, these ones, the extensions, they're just, why are they 95? That's 90 too many. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm really happy with it. I fixed this entrance a little bit. I'm really pleased with this as well. Uh, overall, I think it's really cool. So this is going to be it for Bob's Ledge for now, both in its original preview version and this facsimile. If I get to load the saves in a future preview version, I'll definitely load it up again, and then we can return to Bob's Ledge and we can have a fun time revisiting the old town. I certainly have a lot of love for it, since it was my first big city. But for now, I actually want to start building a brand new town. I want to start the new town next week, and in the meantime, please let me know which map you'd like to see the new city founded in. The options we have are hills, Coastal, Mountain, and Valley. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I make videos playing mostly city building and management games, so if you're into that, you can check out my other videos, or check out the foundation playlist to see the creation and flourishing of the town of Bob's Ledge. Or if you want to catch my next town being built, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you later.